You got anything before I go into what I'm going to say? I'm about to say. I, I was going to ask you a couple questions. Yeah, go ahead. Sure. No, there's no need to get into it right now. Uh, just there, there were questions that would explain why we have such a humongous costs at the wastewater treatment plant. Eight billion dollars, I think it is, for it wasn't ever dealt with in the past. But mm -hmm. uh, the one thing I, I do want to ask a question because that's that's a uh, what is that account called? So incubation project. But the account that's we enterprise, have we have an enterprise enterprise, enterprise camp. And we're supposed to pay all the costs. It's supposed to be self-sufficient. Self-sufficient out of the enterprise account. Right. We don't have eight million dollars in the enterprise account. No, we do not. To pay that. No, we do so not. So how do we pay that? We are. Well, we'd be going to tell them about the loan we're working with with the DEP. It's built into the current debt service and the utilities fund. So what happens, um, as Alan pointed out to you all. We wouldn't be doing a rate increase this year, but it would certainly be on the table next year. Because when you absorb those types of payments, what happens is general everyday maintenance and projects that need to be completed um, in an effort to control rates, sometimes those are kicked to the curb or kicked down the road, however you would like to term it. And it is basically due to regulatory compliance in both water and wastewater scenarios, as well as solid waste, um, that we, we are uh, now required to address these issues um, because the infrastructure in some of our plants, you know, um, if they were built in the 50s, do the math, you're looking at almost uh, 70 years old. And if major repairs haven't been done through that time, or to maintain rates at a lower level, dollars were spent on debt service for what projects were in place, that reduced the amount of general maintenance and projects for upkeep um, in that given budget. So um, this year's budget has the debt service payment in there already, but that's money that could have been applied toward general maintenance or projects. So we're under a consent order at this time with our wastewater treatment plant. If we do not address the consent order, there will be fines per day that we don't want to absorb. Uh, and as PD made reference to, our enterprise accounts, landfill, wastewater, and water, we can't take money out of those three enterprise accounts and apply it to pay. It. But in our general fund, we can use monies there to put towards the enterprise accounts to help them out. So, with an eight million dollar bill at the wastewater treatment plant, we can take general fund money and apply it to that cost. We could, yes. So, and also, with that being said, as we talk about the EQ Basin project, the one across the city of Covington, that's at the end of the line. The EQ Basin is at the very end of sewage passing through our city. We just received the six million dollar grant to put towards addressing things leading to the EQ Basin. But that's to address issues in the current sewer system yes. that goes there. It's it goes to address there. Yes. Already so basically there. we started at the end and going to work to the beginning over time. You know, I just, I think that, uh, you know, David and I came on council in 2012 and all these problems were there then mm -hmm. and nobody ever did anything about it. Yes, they had been there. Yeah, they had been there. 96, I think, is when they did the first testing on the sewer system and they said they had to do something then and they never did anything. That's when we got the sewer truck. Mm -hmm. And never did a thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because they didn't have any money. Or didn't want to spend it. Didn't want to spend what they had. And we well, learned how to spend some money mm -hmm. to fix some of these things. Yeah. Well, and as you guys have, have witnessed working with guys like BB and I, we're going to be straight up and honest with you. Uh, we're not into kicking the can down the road. We're going to work finances to address problems because if we don't, it's only going to become a bigger problem. And and the three 
outside of our safety with our police department, water, sewer, and refuse are the three most important uh, that you can provide. We are a city of the second class. We own our own water, our own sewer, and our own landfill. We own that. Not many people can say that. A lot of people are trying to get away from doing all of those things uh, because they don't want to so-called manage them. Uh, and they're going to authorities and whatever. So, uh, but we think it's important. They're great assets for the city of Covington to have and, and maintain. So, just off the top of your head, I don't know if it makes a whole lot of difference, but at the water treatment plant, we have several expenses that we need to, to take care of with repairs to the water plant to keep the quality of water that we have. Yes, sir. And that's what cost us? Yes, sir. It is? Yes, sir. And that's money that will come out of the general fund because it's not in the... We've got some money built into our water treatment budget, but there may be other monies that will certainly come out of the general fund. I think we're safe until we get into discussion with budget for 2024, 2025. So solid waste at the landfill, we're within two years of having to do something with solid waste that will cost us more money. Correct. So we've got more money at the sewer treatment plant, we've got more money at the wastewater plant, and we've got more money at the landfill. That's just three areas. Yes. Uh, and I've, I've had several people ask me, what were we going to do with the windfall we got off the real estate tax? Mm -hmm. So right now it looks like that windfall is about $200,000. Because we lost 400 some thousand on the Public Service Corporation because mm -hmm. the composite index that Eunice was talking about, she's not paying attention, that she was talking about is down yes. and that makes the, the uh, public service money go down. Yes. We're at 60% on the public service where two years ago we were at 90%, but our composite index has dropped to such a point that we don't have that money. Yes. So that windfall again that I'm talking about is closer to $200,000. It will not cover an $8 million water treatment or sewer, yeah, sewer waste treatment, water. Waste water. Right. It won't cover the cost at the water plant and it won't cover the cost, it won't cover part of the cost of any of them. It won't touch it. It's, you know, we're talking about needing 10, 12 million dollars that's not available any other way other than we take it and pay it. There's okay. no, you know, we might, uh, we're not gonna get a grant for the wastewater. DQ's fed up with us and States fed up with something. We're, we're getting better. We're just, they're, we're just lucky we're getting nice to us. And, and not to be the bearer of the worst news on this Tuesday night, but we do have a water tank, water storage tank, that we are going to have to address really, really soon. Really soon. And it's going to cost us seven figures. So that money comes from our real estate tax, our personal property tax, our Public Service Corporation tax. That's the only income we have. It. Do we right. have real money coming from anywhere else? Swim the pool. That's not much. Yeah, small. come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, uh, I know. I know it's hard on people, but the reality is, if we're to continue to be a city, we've got to fix some things. Correct. Correct. And uh, you've got some good people that are working in that direction. You know, when when I see my my Real estate taxes went up about 29, 30 percent, and I knew that's what happened. Uh, I saw houses selling for 50 to 100 percent more than what mm -hmm. they were valued at last year. Uh, that's why the assessments went up because Correct. people paying more for houses. That's not our fault, right. but that's what the going rate is for property. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm just not sure how we're going to make ends meet if we don't use some of this money we get. That's been called a windfall, but it don't amount to nothing. Right. And, and, and looking in the future, the next reassessment could be lower. <clears throat> and then what happens? And then you what happens? you got to raise it back up? Then you have to address the tax rate, which now has been for a number of years 85 cents on the 100. Then you will have to have a and tax rate increase. Back in the, may have been the 80s or the 90s. The tax rate was $1.26. When they cut it, they cut it down to 80 and then they cut it down to 60. Is that right, PB? I don't know about the 126. I know at one time it was in the 90s 
and there were some rate reductions down to, I think, a low of 60 cents. And when we got down to 60 cents, that put us in the hole because we didn't have the money when we got here to pay the bills. You know, when you look at the uh, revenue and you look at, at the money in the bank, we were like 70%. We had, had, had $700,000 in the bank when we got here. And we didn't even meet what the auditors suggested as a uh, low end, mm -hmm. what to have available. We were supposed to have like 15%, we might have had 5%. Right. Uh, to me, that was poor management. But, you know, that's over. That's behind us. Right. We have to manage our money properly to be able to pay our bills so we don't, we can still stay a city. Mm -hmm. We can look around. Town doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Everybody at the town is paying way more taxes than we are. Correct. And I'm not interested in being town. Yeah, ask Clifton. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, They're getting hit by the county plus the town of Clifton. I'm not interested in being town. But yeah. I'm interested in us being able to pay our bills and continue to provide the services for our senior citizens and our children that we provide now. If we start cutting, we're going to start cutting services. And that trash pickup may be every other week. Mm -hmm. And that cemetery might not get mowed every week like it does now. <coughs> and the wastewater plant might not run right in the water treatment plant. You might not get the same quality of water. There's a lot of things that happen that need to be paid for. It costs me a whole lot more to go to Kroger's or Walmart this week for groceries than it did this time last year. Okay. And bills are going for up for everybody. And we've got to keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. We do have responsibility to the citizens to give them health and safety. Mm -hmm. I don't have any other responsibility. <laughs> Thank I need to reply, reply. Health and safety. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say nothing. Well, it's a good thing you did. I know. You got anything else? Probably. Okay. You just well, if you pray, I'm sorry. Think, but no, that's all right. Anyone else on yeah, council? Just, that stuff goes on in my head. Don't go anywhere. I want to say something. And don't panic, I've already told the mayor. Usually he turns pale every time I say I want to say something. Um, my dad used to use an old adage, and I've heard other people say, give people flowers while they're here to smell them. And one of the things I look forward to every time you get up here, um, if not just the information you give, but you spend a bulk of your time up here thanking everybody for the jobs they do. That's refreshing, because we didn't get that a lot for quite a long time. But there's one person that's always left out, and that's you. I'm talking about you. Uh, I'm looking at you. <laughs> well, thank you. Well, I'm getting to a point here. I might be circling the barn, but I'm, I'm getting to a point. Um, as much as I like to tell people I'm 25, I've been in Covington almost 50 years. And I've met a lot of people. And I don't know if there's anybody that I've ever met that has the love of this city that you possess. From the littlest to the oldest. You've got a love for this city that I've never seen otherwise. Thank you. And I say all that to say this. How do I put this without getting in trouble? Doing I'm doing a good job. Okay. <laughs> He's doing a good job too. The only person I can speak for up here, I, I'm one of five people. I've got one vote. And I've got one big mouth. So I'm going to use it right now. As far as I'm concerned, I don't care what happened last week at that courthouse. We can discuss that all day long. As far as I'm concerned, you're our city manager. You are going to remain our city manager if I have anything to say about it. There are people in this community, in this building, in this dais that appreciate you, that love you, and thank you for what you do for us. We don't do a very good job of giving people those flowers until it's too late. But in light of everything, I wanted to make sure you remember that you are appreciated. And I appreciate not only being a, you know, it, it's nice. I've been your friend for a long time. I remember that one time I was the coach and you had to come bench me. I'm probably the only, <laughs> I remember that. yeah, the only, probably the only coach ever in youth league that got benched, but there it was. 
I get to call you a colleague, and even more importantly, I get to call you my friend. Right. And I don't care what else happened. When the story of your life is written, that nonsense last week won't even make the appendix at the end. So thank you, and keep up the good work. And if anybody else on council has anything they'd like to add before we move on, I'll just agree with what you said. Yeah. I agree on it. Very well said. Very well said. I don't think we could ever have a better person than you. We agree too. They agree too. <laughs> On a car loan with a little get up and go, our credit union offers quick loan approvals and great rates. Our loans get you on the road fast because we belong to you. Jackson River Community Credit Union, we belong to you. Online at jacksonrivcomcu.org. We're federally insured by NCUA. We're an equal housing lender.